Hi, I'm Amy Lee and welcome back to my channel. So today we are making vegan sausage rolls and they are so incredibly delicious, golden and flaky and also extremely easy to make. You wouldn't believe as well how high in protein these are and they come from chickpeas, which are a great source of plant-based protein, vitamins, fiber and minerals, which you wouldn't get if you used meat. So you don't need any crazy ingredients, no butter, nothing. It's completely 100% plant-based. All of my meat eating friends absolutely love this recipe. They would never guess that it's vegan. So if you're as excited for this recipe as I am, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe below. I post new healthy recipes every single week and I would love to see you again. Without further ado, let's get into this recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is grind our mixture of nuts and or seeds together in a food processor or really high speed blender until it's a nice fine flour consistency and this will form the the base of our delicious sausage roll filling. So in there we go, lid on and blend. So for our vegan sausage roll recipe, you are going to need a hundred grams of nuts and I am using a mixture of almonds, walnuts and pumpkin seeds, which are really high in protein. And I think that walnuts also give a really nice meaty flavor once you cook and marinate in season. So you can kind of see now that it is kind of ground up into like a rough flour. It doesn't have to be complete powder, just enough to make it really nice and blended. So now we are going to season this up, make it super delicious. So to our food processor, we are going to add in our protein sauce, our vegan protein sauce, which is the chickpeas. You can also use cooked lentils as well. I think that would be really nice. So in our food processor, now the two tablespoons of tomato paste and our nutritional yeast. You can also substitute that for like a vegan cheese. And at this point, you can also add a hint of spice, maybe some chili flakes or cayenne pepper, a little pinch because that's quite strong. If you do like that added spice, I'm gonna add a little bit of flaky sea salt and I'll add some pepper too, why not? And now I'm simply gonna blend that up. So now you can see that that is really nice and blended up and it is a sausage roll kind of texture and you wouldn't know that it is plants. So now that that's all done, we are going to prepare the rest of the filling in our pan. You are going to need good quality olive oil, one onion, two large garlic cloves crushed, an apple, one sprig of rosemary, and also the leaves of thyme, smoked paprika, some puffed pastry. Now you can get this puffed pastry already pre-made and a vegan one from the supermarket or if you're not vegan, you can use a normal puff pastry. Now this is totally optional but you'll also need some sesame seeds. It does give it that really nice genuine sausage roll aesthetic and you'll also need either some almond milk or olive oil to brush on top of the pastry to help the sesame seeds stick. So now with our pan over medium heat I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil into there about a teaspoon and then I'm going to finely grate our onion. I always like to compost my fruit and vegetable skins. And then I'm just going to grate it for the meatiest texture. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of toss and let it soften for a little bit. Then I'm going to finely mince our garlic. But I always add in extra garlic. I am obsessed. It's kind of like the savory version of vanilla essence. Like you can literally use whatever, however much you want of it with reckless abandon. You make your own food rules. Like you use, you use as much as garlic as you want. You do you. And I am gonna use heaps. <laughs> Now add in the one tablespoon of smoked paprika for that beautiful smoky flavor. And I am again using my Nourish in five measuring spoons. For our beautiful fresh herbs, we are using the rosemary and thyme, just the leaves only. And since the rosemary leaves are quite big, I am going to chop them up. And then also a sprig of thyme. 
just the leaves only. And then just give that a little toss until it's all combined and let it cook for about three to four minutes. And while we do let that cook, we are going to grate our apple also. Now you can definitely leave the skin on if you prefer, but I'm going to skin it because it's not an organic apple. So I don't really want to be consuming that wax layer that they put on top. And it just adds the most amazing tart sweetness. Like it's just incredible, all natural sweetener, no sugar needed, just nature's sweeteners. And then just grate that into our pan. You can also get all your kitchenware needs from nourishin5.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But this is the gold grater, which you can use for vegetables, cheese, anything that requires grating. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt to this too. Yum. It already is smelling so amazing and fragrant in this house. So now I'm going to use a reusable baking mat and not baking paper because it's a lot more eco-friendly and it also has all these measurements on there, which is super useful. You can get yours from Nourish and Fire. They can be used countless times and they are also non-stick, so you don't need any oil. I'm gonna scoop out our delicious filling onto one side of the rectangle. And I'm gonna also leave a little bit of space on the edges, about a centimeter or so, just like that. So it's gonna be super nice and meaty. And then I'm just going to roll it over like so. So it looks like a sausage roll. Super easy. It's definitely much better to spread out the sausage rolls so you can get some really good airflow. Now again, this is a totally optional step, but I am gonna grab some almond milk and just brush the top so that we can pour some sesame seeds over the top and make it look like a really pretty sausage rolls and makes it nice and golden. And it also has less calories than oil. Oh, and I'm also gonna preheat my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. And now I've got our sesame seeds and I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top. Now, usually with puff pastry, you want it to be really cold. So do feel free to put it back in the freezer if you find that yours has gone a bit room temperature. I am just going to slice them up. So after about 30 to 35 minutes, I have taken out our gorgeous vegan sausage rolls and you can see that they're super golden brown on top and the filling looks so meaty and delicious and I've already eaten three of them out of the oven. That's why there aren't that many here. So now I'm going to serve it with some delicious tomato chutney. They are best served fresh, but you can also freeze them if you like either before you bake them or after for meal prep. They're such a healthy snack or lunch. And there you have our delicious vegan sausage rolls. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try these vegan sausage rolls at home. They are so incredibly delicious, ridiculously easy to make, and such a crowd pleaser for both your meat eating friends and your plant eating friends. Yeah. Do let me know if you try it. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram and tag me as well, because I'd love to see your version. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.